Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm in Godston today to look at some of the history, look at a particular grave, which is really interesting. But I'm heading down to Church Town in Godston because Godston is separated by two uh, neighbourhoods. But Church Town is like a little microcosm of history. So we're heading down there now. So this is Bay Pond, it's an artificial lake which was sunk about 400 years ago. Yeah, it's a wildlife haven they call it. Now I do apologise, about three years ago me and Richard Vaux, the Bald Explorer, were doing a little series called Villages Along the A25. So we have covered this ground a little bit before, but there was a lot of history we didn't know when we came here, which I sort of swatted up on a little bit now. Um, so do excuse me if I am sort of repeating myself a little bit, but we went on to other villages. We went to uh, um, Oxted and uh, Limpsfield and places like that, as well as here in uh, Godston. But uh, yeah, we're now going to head down to the church town in Godston. I love that name, church town. It's supposed to be 20 degrees today, but it's not. It's, it's actually quite warm, but um, I think it's a little bit later on in the day. It's a little bit overcast, but yeah, it's supposed to be 20, 21 degrees. And we've got some lovely weather coming. Um, it's all good. Here we are. This is actually the original settlement of uh, Godston, um, but it was actually wiped away uh, during the plague in the 1340s. So yes, it was pretty much decimated after that tragic period in, uh, in our history. So these are the incredible almhouses and chapel built by Gilbert Scott in 1872. Incredible design, really gives this whole area a real unique flavour. A lady just said to me, the amount of people who come by here, because obviously people live here, come by here and take photos of this building, amazing. Headmaster's house, fantastic. because these, these are private properties so um, just wanted to quickly show you it the almshouses in church town So this is St Nicholas Church in Churchtown, including the title. Originally a Norman structure, a lot of work done in the 13th century. It's a lovely, lovely old building, really sort of dominates the landscape around here. Of course, Victorians come along and did a lot of work in it. Those pesky Victorians. Yeah, it's a lovely, lovely old church. I'll quickly show you something which is quite interesting. I think the stone carving here is Norman in origin. Of course, old door. Weird graffiti. Why are people graffiti in a church? Goodbye, cruel world. I'm leaving you. Okay. Joe loves Jess 2021. Okay. Thanks for uh, graffitiing over uh, our heritage. Nice. 
I did a lovely walk around here, around Godston, um, starting by the White Hart pub, where I'm going to lunch later. Uh, it was back in 2015, it was really nice getting out to the countryside around the village. Lovely ornate bridge here. Okay, this is the grave I wanted to show you. This belonged to John Trenchman, who was a pirate, hence the skull and crossbones, and later uh, a smuggler. So he's notorious in the 1600s and uh, gave that all up piracy in this, when he was in his 50s, I think, and then became a, a smuggler, smuggling contraband uh, from the south coast up to Croydon. A former gang member of his was caught and to save himself from the noose, gave King's evidence and an ambush was laid out uh, down at Tilbusto Hill where he was caught and severely wounded and eventually John Trenchman died in the Fox and Hounds pub. But the villagers took a little bit of pity on him and they, gave, they buried him in an unmarked grave, which is really interesting because apparently according to folklore, and I think it is folklore, strange unexplained occurrences happened around Godston itself. Blood pouring out from uh, places in the church. So they decided to give him a proper headstone, which is here. Not amazing. I don't know how rare these are. So he's lying behind, below me here. A fascinating tale. Absolutely fascinating tale. When we were here with Richard Vogue's as Port Explorer, but originally we didn't know um, what it was. We didn't know the history behind it. But although I knew there was a pirate there, but we didn't know the history, but we do now. There you go, John Trenchman. This is what I was looking for also. The gravestone, a sarsen gravestone, I love it. Uh, for Edmund Taylor, Walker Miles as he was known. And he was a pioneer in rambling in the late Victorian period. He died unfortunately quite, quite early. He has a fantastic little grave site here. Um, yeah, he sort of created the Croydon Ramblers, which then I think went on to become sort of the Rambling Association and uh, saved a lot of our uh, pathways and trackways. Uh, from being uh, overgrown and uh, uh, lost forever. So yeah, so thank you very much Walker Miles for all you've done for us now. If that's a sarsen stone, I should have bought my dowsing rods just so there's any energy in it. interesting here is the road just outside the church was the original route from London down to the coast. Let's say this was the original, original uh, settlement of Walkerstead I think it's called back in Saxon times, Walkerstead. I don't know how Walkerstead has evolved into Godston. I think there is a reason but I'm not quite sure. Yeah it's interesting, it's sort of a town of two villages really, a town of two villages. This house here, built in 1565, 1565, old man. Lots of people out walking today. There's so many routes you can take uh, around this area. When I was talking about the plague earlier on, um, in Ball Beggars Lane nearby, there are two plague pits. So basically, when I said the whole village was decimated, everyone was pretty much buried in these two plague pits, separated by the sexes, so the husband and wife couldn't be together, even in the, in, in, in the grave. So yeah, women and men were still separated. So yeah, I don't know if people know the exact locations of them um, along the lane or where they are. That'd be quite interesting. Obviously, not not to disturb because it's a, it's, you know it's a resting place. But I'd like to know if they actually know the location of the play pits. So there you go. A little trip around Church Town in Godston. I've come here first because this was the original settlement. And in the next video, we'll have a little walk around the main town of Godston. 
If you like the video, please like, subscribe, please leave a comment if you know any questions, oh, sorry, any answers to some of the questions that I've uh, asked. Always helpful to educate myself. And we'll see you next time. Take care.